Thanks for talking to us today. Um, tell me, how did this all come about? I was in I was in LA about eight weeks ago, and I had just finished up the tour. And uh, the kind of the filmmakers reached out, and um, I think it was fortuitous. I was in LA because I was not far from the studio, so I was able to see uh, an early screening, an early edit. Um, and we kind of talked about it, you know, and, and we're talking about a contemporary song for the soundtrack, and you know. It, it was a challenge. It was a very, very short deadline. So mm. I think it was just it was something I was I hadn't I hadn't really written in that in that capacity yet. I hadn't written for a project like that. It was the first time since the tour started that I had a chance to write something and go to studio with it immediately. You know. So, I said, if, if I have a demo in about a week's time, great. And if not, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. So, but it was great. And David Yates had a listen to it. He, he, you know, he, he was on board with it. He really enjoyed it, and we kind of took it from there. Yeah, he said to me earlier that when he heard the song, he was kind of like, God, I didn't even need to make that film. He just gets the story so well. Oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah. That's really really so. Cool. Um, what was was when you were watching the movie? Was there any particular moment that really inspired you? Um, yeah, there was. A, I suppose there was a. Yeah, it's it's a few things that kind of kind of drew from. I mean, at the at the heart of the, of the movie is a love story, mm -hmm. you know, and the song is kind of it's a, it's a you know it is a, it's a love song, and I suppose kind of the, the kind of movie is although it's a, it's a love tale, but it's it's one that kind of takes place in a very hostile environment, mm -hmm. in a very kind of difficult environment, and I, I would think that the 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 song kind of comes from a place like that, you know. So whether it's it comes from a, you know, I suppose it's just love or, you know, in, in a very, very difficult and embattled environment, you know. I don't want to speak too soon, but um, a songwriter such as yourself, when you write a movie for a song, sorry, for a big blockbuster movie like this, yeah. is there any Oscar buzz? Have you thought about it at all? You, you did say you didn't want to speak too soon. I know. Um, I <laughs> yeah, um, I, th I, you know, I, I think it's it would be silly to kind of think that far ahead. I mm. think, you know, um, really putting the cart before the horse. But I mean, it's just a joy to kind of. Mm. To, to, to kind of write in this capacity in, in a different in a different way, you kind of open yourself up to that the influence and, and see see what happens and see what you can do. And it's, it was a challenge and mm. an exciting one. And in terms of your second album, what stage are you at there? Are you going back into the studio soon? I I hope to. I th in fact, no. In truth, I'm going to take some time off. So mm. this is this is kind of the last thing I'm going to be putting my name to for a little while as well too. But um, I'm going to disappear for a while and work on the next album, similar in a similar way to to how I worked on it the first time round, mm. which is kind of a very quiet space and just see how the demos take shape. Do you have any idea where you'll go? I might. I might yeah. have an idea, yeah. <laughs> as long as you can't tell me, then it won't be secret yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's a real kind of wait and see. I th I'm still trying to navigate mm. what will take place in the album and what will maybe exist outside of that, you know, or outside of, you know, maybe a side project or something like that. So we'll see.